guys, my name is Ismas and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at yet another compilation of the most satisfying geometry nodes demos out there. If you like this type of content or if you want to suggest anything else, make sure to leave a comment below and like the video to share some love and uh, subscribe if you're new here. Let's jump in. Life can be tough with long work hours, an eventful social media and expensive outing. If you're looking for something fulfilling to add to your day, I have got just the thing for you. This compilation features a variety of satisfying renders, simulations and animations all created using Blender's geometry nodes. While these videos won't magically reduce your workload or mend your relationships, they are sure to bring a sense of satisfaction to your day. At number one, we have a fluid simulation done by Caldip. Caldip gives us this amazing fluid simulation done using geometry nodes. It is a fluid simulation inside a texture, inside a donut. Caldip and Sean Terrell, another Blender artist, use the same technique to create this amazing demo. And if you want to learn from them, you are in luck. Sean Terrell has a 30 minute tutorial explaining his process of making the simulation from scratch in high detail. If this is something you want to learn, check out the video in the description. At number two, we have these two particles. Cassation Caramel created this particle animation effect, which reminds me of Star Trek Transporter. Use this effect to beam yourself out of depression to a world of absolute satisfaction. I've been following Castasian Caramel for a while now and I have to say I'm satisfied with everything I have seen him do. He also made a particle explosion of debris that you can use for, for a VFX shot if you are making one. He also created that famous demo of a mimic from Age of Tomorrow, a satisfying movie of his own. If you want to cre recreate your own version or if you want to check out the, his project, he always uploads them on his Gumroad or his Blender Market page. I'm going to be leaving all the links in the description. If the mimic was not enough to show his mastery of Blender, he also remade the Last of Us title sequence using just Blender and Geometry Nodes. And not to be outdone by Carl Deep and uh, Sean Terrell, he also created his own fluid simulation using Geometry Nodes that is equally as impressive as the one we have seen. At number three, Carl Deep comes back again, this time with an amazing dynamic paint simulation. He uses a combination of dynamic paint and geometry nodes to make these satisfying melting textures that can be used for a lot of different transitions. This project is also available on his Blender Market page if you want to test it out on your own. At number five, Castasian Caramel comes back with this satisfying invisible shield that can be used in a sci-fi short or fantasy film you are making is procedurally generated with the help of geometry nodes and the new upcoming simulation system that will be added to geometry nodes. At number five, we have light trails by Specula. At Specula, made these impressive light trails brighten up your day and leave you absolutely satisfied. If you've been following geometry nodes updates on Twitter, you probably remember his works like, like the procedural river generator, paint peeling geometry nodes in the previous demo I showed off and another demo I really like is this camera space particles which is a nice way to add snow or dust particles into your scene the camera just flies there and if you add motion blur to that it's just going to make your scenes look super satisfying at number six we have a text reveal effect by Hixas. Hixas properly demonstrates his mastery of geometry nodes by revealing text out of some subdivided planes. I'm not sure how, but if you ask me, I'm sure there was some witchcraft involved. Still satisfying. At number seven, we have portals to another dimension. Ever played that game of portals? Well, let as usual, we'll give you a dose of nostalgia with this portal effect that uses rematching to align portals with your view angle. It's not just an in-camera effect, but it also works from your viewport view angle. The effect works with different shapes and shades so you can customize it to your liking. At number eight, we have lovely procedure explosion by Pojo. These explosions made with geometry nodes have a satisfying rating of 11 out of 10 because you don't need a high-end PC to make smoke simulations anymore. Just like Pojo demonstrates here, 
you just have to be a god at geometry nodes which may be even harder than getting a high end pc or just download what poco quiet has made and use that you can use it for a realistic explosion or you can mix the shaders up and use it for an anime scene at number nine we have a text effect by 3d kit 3d kit leverages the power of geometry nodes to fill any text with ball an effect like this is priceless if, if you want to get into motion graphics animation. So let's be very grateful to 3D Kit for providing not only a satisfying demo but a detailed tutorial on how to create the effect yourself. Links are in the description. At number 10, we have an advanced geometry nodes tree. If you want control and customization, that's exactly what you get with Varera's advanced geometry nodes tree generator. It's procedural, it's easy to use, and most importantly, it looks satisfying to use. And finally, as we close out this compilation, it, it is great to look at where we came from and give thanks to the default cube. Celestrio Maze uses geometry nodes to fracture and destroy the default cube and manages to put it back together. Just look at how satisfying that is for the final bonus content b production has just released the cloudscapes which is a collection of hyper realistic vdb cloud collection that you can use as clouds it has over a hundred different types of vdbs ranging from text numbers to shapes actual clouds that you can use the cloud shader is very easy to use and allows you to customize your clouds creating bright clouds for a more beautiful sky or on the contrary dark clouds or you can even turn them into fireballs. And these clouds can also work with GeoScatter to scatter them in, into a sky. So if you want to check out this add-on, which has just released about one hour ago, you can just go in the download link. I'll be leaving all the links there. So that's it. If you found these demos satisfying, please leave a comment. And let me know what you think was the most satisfying of them.